Welcome back to Shinjuku. We last time we left off, which was a pretty decent big go. I actually left like a whole week because I was getting used to the job. But uh, we're back now. Last time we had had uh, we had chased after our uh, assassin of Shinjuku and ap killed him and defeated him. And uh, now we are dealing with the uh, now Avenger, not the Rider anymore, the Avenger of Shinjuku. Who is very angry and very set on killing us, and that is not fun. <laughs> That's not very fun. We managed to get away last time thanks to Jalter's sacrifice. Uh, pour one out for the girl, especially for Brizu, who I'm sure is still crying very hard over it. And uh, then we made our way back to the base where we started talking about Avenger of Shinjuku's true name, Hessian Lobo, and everything that comes with it. See, so we're now we're gonna try and replicate the uh, replicate the what's it call it the story of him by luring him and trapping him in with the uh, with the promise of his wife. You know, we don't have his wife with us, but we do have one white good doggo. So <laughs> we're hoping that works out for us. But uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. We're, we got a few more one arrows before we move on to the rest of things. Going to be another fight with uh, Avenger of Shinjuku, this time with a bit more health in the first wave, but a bit less health in the second wave. Uh, as for the strats, we're mostly going to be going with the same thing we went with last time, which we could just go with Merlin to make this easy, but where's the fun in that? We're mostly going to be wanting someone with invul or target. The taunt would be nice, honestly. But uh, we could go with Jean, honestly, but again... Where's the fun in that? I'm trying to think of who has it. We could, yeah, we could go for DPS damage because we don't have to deal with the invisible. Uh, we don't have to deal with the invisibility gimmick this time around. Instead, we just gotta focus fully on DPS and survivability. Just because, uh, instead, the gimmick this time around will be the fact that every turn we will be getting a. I believe it. It's a defense down. I don't remember the exact percentage wise, but it's a pretty, it's a pretty decent debuff. So, We've got a def uh, different party running this time around. Oh, <laughs> doggo. <laughs> um, we got a different party that running this time around. Instead of focusing on either sure hit or something like that, instead we're going to be focusing more on the charm aspect and the anti male damage with uh, Tama Lancer. Plus, she has the anvil, so that'll be nice. <laughs> Homesick. Oh, it's the doggo. Oh, it is just kind of going on a rampage, huh? What's going on? I can't even see what's eating me. Oh, yeah, it's still invisible. We didn't get rid of that invisibility gimmick. I thought we had gotten rid of the invisibility gimmick. Well, it's just kind of going on the rampage. The first time I ate a human felt absurdly good. My pack is dead. All of them dead. They were poisoned and died painfully. Their heads were blown off by those long sticks. I'm guessing guns. They were choked oh uh, they were choked to death with rope, dead, dead, dead. Each and every one of them. Dead. Blanca is dead too. So are my pups, no doubt. How methodical. Instead of instinct, they use their intelligence to kill efficiently. A beast like me can never understand. Even if I were to be reborn, all I could do is use my jaws. I don't like the idea of someone riding me at first, but he didn't say anything or get in my way. <laughs> he doesn't have a head, to be fair. It's kind of like a headless horseman, so, like, <laughs> he can't really... Unless, like, you know, there's a voice that can just be projected out of the neck, or the neck hole, I guess. But uh, he doesn't have a head to really talk. All he does is kill people automatically as I run. I can live with that. I've killed so many people. I thought I would kill as many of them as they did of us. Males, females, small ones, big ones, fat ones, thin ones. It's okay to kill them all. Nobody can stop me. <laughs> I won't let them stop me. Every time I look, I every ugh. every time I took revenge, I was sure that things would go back to the way they were. That someday, I would once again return to the land where my pack and I roamed. I was so sure of it, and yet. 
<laughs> things aren't getting better and eventually yeah your anger and your uh, passion for vengeance just kind of grew more and more your hatred and uh, kind of morphed you or humans I have to kill them once I do that then then uh, what was it I wanted again yeah he's just kind of being overtaken by the emotions unfortunately it's being overtaken by the feeling of being an Avenger because, okay, Jelter had mentioned that, like, you think that once, like, you do it once, it's going to be more than enough or you'll be able to have that feeling of uh, satisfaction and be able to stop, but you just don't. The feeling of hatred and fire just kind of burns within you regardless, and it just keeps on going. Here he comes, Master. Remember, hold on tight to me. Do not let go no matter what. We're on the bike again, I'm guessing. I don't want to die. A wise decision. Now wrap your arms around me and hold on tight. Okay, we maybe we haven't even gone yet. Don't worry about how it may look. The important thing is to remain alive. <laughs> Moriarty here. Everything's set on this end. I was the monitor situation shaping up, Da Vinci. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely ice. We're good to track any time. How about you, Holmes? Oh, we're this is a full frontal assault. I'll set here. Good boy. Caval is gonna do it. I believe in them. I mean, actually, we don't. Do we really know Caval's gender? I'm pretty sure it said good boy at one point. I'm gonna believe, boy. They had better work. Oh, and Mash? You're absolutely certain Caval 2 agreed to this, right? <laughs> you worried about the dog? Y yes, ma'am. At least according to Fu. Do we even understand Fu anymore? I thought the Fu was mostly just a wild beast now. Or not a wild beast, but like, you know, just a regular animal. You wish to use Kval 2 as bait? Are you out of your minds? It's a white dog, white wolf. What's the difference? Dogs are basically like, you know, uh, wolves but smaller and less threatening and probably won't kill you. I do feel like it would give us a very decent chance of winning. Indeed. Uh, agreed. In my estimation, what Avenger can no longer properly remember who Blanca was. Oh, that. Any white uh, wolf-like creature would surely stop him in his tracks if only for a moment. <laughs> Dogs have some of the sharpest senses in the world. Are you planning on fooling his nose? Eh, it's just a sim simple Miss Artoria. There's no need to. Oh, why so? Allow me to explain. Yeah, please do. And damn it. <laughs> are we not going to get the explanation or are we going to have to wait for later on when we actually defeat him so we can get the explanation because, oh well. Or are we just like, eh, let me explain. It explains off screen. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Just look at his floppy little body. How could you even think of putting a precious creature like this in front of a vicious wolf? Me when it comes to dogs in general. Vol was the name of King Arthur's favorite dog. There's a reason, why, a reason why she named this one, too. That's true. Well, a second. Could be even be run over before he knew what happened. Yeah, he's probably into it. Not being run over, but, like, you know, willing to risk this. We still have yet to hear from Cabal, uh the second himself. <laughs> and they're just going to have a little animal off, I guess. <laughs> they're just going to go right at it. Can they even understand themselves? Is this a thing? Or is this just like they barking and making foo noises at uh, various noises? Like This is like the electronic uh, hologram version of like sniffing you the butt. Kaval second? <laughs> Look at him, he just wants to help. I see, I see. He's agreed to help us. This is wonderful, master. <laughs> I... Sure, that's a that's a, a way to understand. You certainly agreed. Really, truly, absolutely certain. I'm surprised to see you've also mastered animal with animal whispering. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm yeah. No, I'm just gonna go with it. Fuck it. <laughs> I can see you wish to know more, master. Very well. Let me tell you. <laughs> but I said I was just gonna go with it. I was like, huh? No need for that, you say? Well, all right. <laughs> all right. I'll just let you guys have your own little uh, exchange there and just like, yeah, you know what? I don't even want to bother. <laughs> all right, Fu. I'll trust you. Timing will be everything, Master. Be ready for it. All right. And he's coming straight towards us. Yep. 
Well, a second may be in danger. But I hope you are aware of the situa that the, your situation is even more precarious. Yeah, if we get out of here, is Fall 2 uh, going to be alright regardless? Of course, I'll be certain to protect you, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to be fine. That word never meant much to me as I am now. Coming from you. Very well. I promise I shall do everything in my power to keep you safe. <laughs> Alright. On the way. Coming straight for us, not for the dog. They'd probably see the dog and be like, ooh, doggo. Let me go and <laughs> let me go and investigate. At least that's probably our plan. He may be invisible, but now we can at least narrow down his coordinates. Be careful. He's still as fast as before. Alright, we actually apparently we have uh, we're uh Good enough at realizing his coordinates to actually have a proper countdown instead of a sudden He's here! Ah, there he is. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't mean to do that. Don't say a word unless you want to see what wind pressure like this does to a person's head. Alright, how fast are we going? SCN Lobo has passed the checkpoint. His speed remains the same. Prepare the point one trap. <laughs> Toss the doggo! Time to see how well Kaburagi's extra large demonic beast traps work. Alright, let's see. <laughs> let's see how it ended up working, but I doubt it'll work for long. Yeah, this is gonna bite through it. It's almost like it has enough power to bite through a human. Oh, he jumped over it. He didn't bite through it, he jumped over it. I see, I see. Knew we expected as much, but I still can't believe it so huge and he didn't couldn't have even noticed it up until the last moment even our camouflage spell was perfect he couldn't have taken more than a few microseconds to react and he didn't even break his stride stop praising him and focus on the task at hand <laughs> yeah i was i was just observing what a good dog he was all right second trap this time i need a bit uh second verse same as the first or did it actually get caught this time yeah not as much Evade this one as well. He reacted even faster than the first time because he's gotten used to it. He's got us completely figured out. Is this plan really going to work? Yeah, we can really uh, hope for the best. I don't know. Hope for the best or we're goners or, you know, forced race shift out because we could probably still do that. Why would you even ask, ask that now, you fool? Master, are you still all right? <laughs> Cling harder without saying a word. Is that our only option? Damn it. Good. All right, last one. We got one more trap. Holmes, it's all up to you now. Is it the, just a more standard trap again, or is it Cabal this time? I'm well aware of that. Now listen up. No matter what happens, do not move. Doing so will only put you in danger. Ah, oh, it's Cabal. Five seconds until he reaches the third trap. Four. <laughs> the countdown begins. We are all in unison in this one. I'm glad we all have, like, <laughs> the same internal clock. There he is. How's that? <laughs> Don't taunt him about it. He stopped, yeah. Can we bring him into the subway now? My apologies, Slobo. I'm afraid we must use your love to engineer your doom once more. Ooh, that's... Oh, that was the trap, most likely. Okay. Not only... Ooh, he is not very happy. He is a very angry puppo. We've got him. Has seen Lobo has come to a stop. We also have visual confirmation. And now's the time to attack, I'm guessing. If he has to, I have no doubt he'll gnaw off his leg in order to escape. Will he be able to recover from that? I don't know. Not like a, what's it call it? Uh, what is that animal that will do that? Like, in or, like gnaw off its own leg in order to escape something and then it'll regrow it back or something. I forget what that is. We have to take him down here and now. Any objections? Uh, not particularly. Yeah, let's help him rest. That's a lot more uh, humane of an answer. John was right. Avengers running wild must be cut down without mercy. And we gotta do it. My sacred, sh uh, my sacred sword shall bring you that swift end and merciless end. Your days of vengeance are over, Wolf King. It's funny because she's the Lion King, so it's like a cat versus a, versus a dog. I mean, this one isn't the Lion King, but she, in general, is a Lion King. Get it? I get it. 
All right, time for the second battle, which has a whole lot of health in the first phase, but not as nearly as much as the second one. Ooh, we got, mm -hmm. we got the, uh... Actually, we got a wave. I thought there was only a defense down, but okay. There's both that we have to deal with. Oh, yeah, attack down. Oh, man. The, depending on who that goes to, it could be a lot worse than... <laughs> that, that attack down actually looks pretty massive. Mm -hmm. At least I'm not going for the ones that actually have the defense down. Cry of Hatred, yeah. So as we, if they keep tar if he keeps targeting Mash with it, honestly, it's not too awful. Yeah. Because Mash's DPS already is like pretty insubstantial. Please don't go after John. All right, we're good. <laughs> uh, all right, we're good. <laughs> Both. Damn it. Whatever, we can just go for de for MP generation instead of the damage. Luckily, he has quite a few hits on the things that he's attacking us with, like mostly that spin attack. So like, yeah, it gives us a lot of MP generation like right off of that. Mm -hmm. Even though it can be more like the defensive attack, I prefer it than the last battle. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm, we should be good on this. Hopefully the stars fall in the right spot, which they didn't, but we'll live. This turn's going to be a little bit more dangerous just because we don't have the defense up anymore. <laughs> okay, I guess. Oh, at least he won't get the buff, I think, at least one turn. Well, he still has that one, but other one. Oh, jeez. Mm-hmm. Um... Doo -doo -doo -doo. This is a little bit worrying. Let's go ahead and do Miss Beach Flower. There's a few different things that we can do here. Let's go for MP generation. We're kind of stuck on terms of... Like I said, just MP it, protection and MP generation are uh, kind of slim this turn. Oh, that crit's gonna hurt. All right, we're alive, and that's what matters. Hopefully, this works. All right, we're good. I shouldn't have used that. Oh well, we'll live. Yeah, I'll just end up having to do something else with this turn than I was expecting, but that's fine. We'll live. That'll probably get Jelter and NP, so we'll be able to do, go mad hard on the next turn. Um, yeah, that'll get it. Okay, cool. Hopefully the attack down falls on, uh... Actually, we won't be able to get the triple MP chain just because Tamuo has the timed, uh, stun on this. That's sucky. Oh well. We'll be able to survive the turn regardless just because of... Yeah, let's go ahead and save that because next turn anyway we'll be able to do some other stuff with this. We'll be able to run Lord Camelot, and we'll be able to have, like, four layers of defense on M.A.S.H. So we'll be mostly good on this. Mm. Well, you should be able to tank it after that. Mm. <clears throat> we'll also be able to get, uh... Jalter's stuff back next turn. All of her skills, I think. Yeah, that's a, that's really good. All right, I'm glad. Oh, the attack down hurts, but we'll live. 
I've never seen Mash get that much MP in one turn. Yeah, her target when your target skill is like that high, it's so good. Oh man. This might be a little overkill. I might have overshot this just a little bit. But I'll I'll, I'll take I'll hold that. <laughs> I mean, it's just one break bar. We and we've still got a whole back line that is more than powerful enough to hold to deal with this. No, we're gonna be pretty good. As long as this is fine. Yeah, we're gonna be good on this. Just enough to get that break. All right, we're good. <laughs> Look how much defense we have. We're fine. I say as Tamamo gets killed. <laughs> oh, no. I was just about to say that her MP always makes me laugh. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's just like... It's just really good. <laughs> uh, we can hold on that. We could probably just focus on MP generation. Kiritsugu isn't really important in terms of like damage. He's most he mostly here to mitigate. Ah, or he can just die right away. That's oh, no. cool too. He's mostly here to mitigate things. Mm, we can hold on that for a little bit. Also, we're going to be seeing that a little bit better. Okay, well, so much for that mitigation. All I can hope for is that these things come back and I can focus on charm locking them now. This will work a little bit better, not much, but a little bit better anyway, just because I'm not going to have to deal with uh, quite as much. And I can just focus on getting MP generation because of the larger art stick to work with. No gimmicks allowed. <laughs> Let's see if we get that. If we get uh, anything back from this. No, we don't. We gotta wait a few turns. Hmm. Let's hold some stuff because we can actually get decent things from this, but not all too much. We're going to have to hold the defense up for next turn as well. But actually, we might have been able to do that. Let's do throw a vampirism out and then throw out our defense up. We'll be able to get the taunt. And as long as MASH survives this turn, then we'll be good. Because then we're going to be able to have the... Uh, we're going to be able to have her target and invulnerability combo, so we'll be able to survive her uh, Hessian's Lobo's MP, and be, we'll be completely fine after that. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. He spent, a t he spent two turns buff or two parts buffing himself, and then one part... Uh, <laughs> actually attacking someone that had invul so we're perfectly in the good now like we are a-okay this will be able to get both mps too and it might be a little too early to do uh what i'm about to do but i think with the amount of damage that we'll be able to be putting out i think it should be fine regardless Oh, well, actually, let's wait one more turn for it and hope for the best. Because the best is uh, getting everything that we're going to be able to get. Yuri will definitely survive. Gil will most likely survive. If best case scenario, Mash also survives. <laughs> Death is down, debuffs, oh... Alright, we're good. <laughs> Let's go, nice. 
Oh, Core of the Goddess, and let's bump. Mm, we can we can just leave that alone now. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I have a few different things that I could do on this, but let's go ahead and just focus on getting the the big things. Which is gonna be this might kill. This might kill. I forget if hers does anti male damage or if it's uh, it's gonna do a lot just from the double arts buff and uh, the attack up from the charisma. I think that's still active and this and the defense down from uh, Dinger is gonna do quite a bit too as well. What I remember. All right. And that'll do it just enough, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Thank you, Yuriel. Uh, like I said, you must be truly desperate to come to me, but man, she works when I need her to, and that's the important part. Mm -hmm. Damn, that was a lot. I see Lobo's magical energy is declining rapidly. Did you get them? You did, didn't you? You sound like an NPC in a video game. Yeah, good job, everybody. If this is the next thing we know, it's like gonna he's gonna get back up and try and chomp at us again. I'm definitely calling that out now. But trust me, it's really clear when you're monitoring the situation. Indeed, they've surely lost too much magical energy to be able to retreat effectively. However, yeah, it's still getting up for more. It just keeps on getting up for more punishment. It's either hatred or revenge that drives you. No one else can suffer in your place. That suffering is your punishment, but it's also nothing less than your greatest joy. Avengers! Yay! They're totally fun people. But it has gone on long enough. Farewell, Wolf King. Oh! Huh? Oh, it got in the way! Yeah, the Hessian got in the way. He defended him. I... Did he just throw... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it. I can't per particularly, you know, communicate too well, but that definitely is a show of, like, surrender. Or at least, like, hey, we're not, <laughs> we're not doing this anymore type thing. Uh, I wonder, because then Lobo, I wonder if both of their spirit or like, is there a combined spirit origin or is both of, like, separate spirit origins to where Hessian has a different type of, like, Lobo is completely fueled by rage and just you know the avenger curse as it was uh so i wonder if hessian is plagued by that too or if he's just completely fine with everything i mean at the end of the day he's still like letting everything happen but still it's whatever what are you playing at he's spreading his hands and no he can't be yeah he's trying to protect lobo I believe he is. What kind of servant are you? Move aside. Oh boy. That sounded like a bad sound. Oh, oh. That doesn't sound good. Lobo just bit off his own leg and made a break for it. Don't worry, he's moving much slower now so you can still catch him on foot. He's still chasing after him, but that's enough, Miss Artoria. It's over now. Holmes, what is the meaning of this? Let him go. We have our victory. Both the Hessian and Lobo are as good as dead now. Let them spend their last moments as they see fit. I understand your wish to see the deed through to the end, but it's alright. He has finally regained his freedom. Your role. Oh, okay, so he's Ryder again now. <laughs> see you in Caldea, guys. Exactly so, Mr. Stardust. The Wolf King is at long last nothing more than a mere beast again. So Lobo wants to go back home to the plains of Kurumpa in America. And we're in the middle of Japan right now, so that might be a little bit of a trek that he can't make, but uh, it's a shame that he cannot do that. Yeah, plus he can't even get out of the city. The problem is not that he's too far away from home, that he has been hell-bent on revenge. He's forgotten his home, bases of his pack. 
Even their scents have been blotted out by the stench of Shinjuku. All he remembers now is that he once had a home to return to. Oh, that's sad. That's sad as fuck. <laughs> There's nothing more we can do for him, Mr. Stardust. I'm afraid his story has already come to an end. What is... Oh, he's probably trying to... Oh, Cabal! Cabal! No, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Something precious is leaving me. The sense of loss is greater than the simple pain. I guess I must have lost again. It must have been that white dog. Why did I stop when I saw it? It was only a stray dog, nothing more. And yet, when I think about it, it makes me strangely heartsick. I better stop thinking about it. Can't even run now that I've chewed my leg off. That steel horse could catch up to the steel horse, the motorcycle. And yet it hasn't, which must mean could that man who was riding on me be holding them back? What am I saying? That's ridiculous. I never opened up to him, even once. Never treated him as anything more than a tool. There's no reason he would have something like or he would do something like that for me. Anyway, where should I go now? I wanted to go home. I wanted to go back to my homeland. But I can't see it anywhere. I can't remember it. I don't even know what's sent now. Where in the world was it that I lived? The ground was softer, I'm sure. I know I could smell the grass there. There were countless glittering stars in the sky. The wind was gentle and refreshing. But all I have right now are images in my head. I can't remember what any of these felt like. Soft ground, the smell of grass, glittering stars, the refreshing wind. None of them. I'm sure I experienced them all, but I can't remember anything about them. But I still want to go home more than anything. It's over now, I've lost. I wanna go home. I wanna go home. I wanna go home. <laughs> Cabal's going to comfort him. Oh, the city skyline, this isn't. <sighs> After taking a deep breath and exhaling what remains of my life, I finally understand. I no longer have a home to go back to. No, that's not right. This is now the only home I have. I was summoned of my own will and slaughtered people here by choice. I made this my territory my, and my home. And my howls let all the people here know they had reason to be afraid. This filthy place where people live is my true home now. So I can no longer go back there. I threw it away. And I've been searching for it all this time. <laughs> oh. Man. Is there's that website that has like that tracks if the dog dies <laughs> in video games and you just put a big old check mark next to the uh next to it <laughs> for freight grand order. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, fuck! That fucked me up. <laughs> that fucked me up pretty bad. 